Today in our 2016 Dodge Dart, we're doing a test fit of the Yakima Fullback Trunk Mount 2 bike rack. That part number is Y02634. Now we already have our bike secured down. We're first going to show you how we do that. So we have two cradles in place with three straps, two on our frame, and one is our anti-sway strap in the back. And these are also known by Yakima as zip strips. We're just gonna squeeze the two levers on the sides and remove those. Then we'll be able to pull our bike off and set it off to the side. With our bike out of the way, I do suggest that you replace your zip strips so they don't get lost or damaged. And now we'll take a few measurements. First is going to be overall what we're adding to our vehicle. We're going to have about 24 and a half inches. Now we do have the option to rotate our arms down. We're going to push this gray lever towards our vehicle. Our arms rotate down and lock into place. So now we're only adding about four inches. What's great about these arms is that they can go a little further back, so they're underneath this portion or further back than this portion of our bike rack. Now how we secure this to our vehicle, we have four straps, two over the top portion of our trunk and then two underneath the bottom portion. We also have pads along the bottom and along the top that are going to help to prevent scratches or abrasions. Now how we actually adjust it to fit our vehicle, we would push the center portion towards our vehicle like we did on the other two sides. We've got our fit dial on the back. It is set to two as per our Thule guide. You do want to double check that and make sure it's still accurate. And you'll get a list of all the other vehicles that this will fit with their fit dial numbers. So that's going to be our completed look at the Yakima Fullback Trunk Mount 2 Bike Rack, part number Y02634 on our 2016 Dodge Dart. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.